Okay, the six pistons are completely on place. You can see there is number one, two, three, four, five, and six. Make sure to check the position of the pistons, the arrow to the front, and the exhaust J brake ball has to be cut over here, has to be here in the piston. You can see all of them gotta be in the same position. You can see. So now I'm going to torque all the rod connecting rod caps. There is six of them, remember six pistons. So I'm going to torque each one to 84, 85 pounds freeze. And then after torquing this to 84 pounds, I'm gonna do 180 turn. Gonna be then the position of the ball is here, so it's gonna rotate all the way over here, just the same way as the main caps. So remember 84 and then um, you have to do 180. Okay, the 85 pounds, 85, I mentioned 84 before, but in reality it's 85. Exactly 85, remember to follow that. For the 13s it's going to be different, um, but I'm going to leave the specifications in the description below if you wanna know about the 13s, but the 16s is similar, it's the same specs. So. I already torque to 85 pounds each individual cap. After doing that, very important, you have to check the plate. You hear that? You have to check for all the caps, then they have to have play. If the cap doesn't have play, that means then there is something wrong, you have to remove it or check it out. So 84, uh, 85 pounds, I'm sorry, I keep messing with that, 84. So 85 pounds of torque to the bolts, two bolts. Now I'm gonna do the 180 turn. So I'm gonna mark the ball in this position and then I'm gonna just turn it all the way to the 180 turn. Tied to specifications, remember 85 and then 180 turn. I mark the ball right here. You can see when I turn it, same way to the other one and all of them are in similar condition as you can see so there are some steps that are very important to check after doing the process of torquing each individual bolt is then you have to check for play again here that kind of play it has to have that kind of play if it doesn't move that means there is something wrong um, and you have to open the cap or check what's going on and you have to do the same process with each individual cap to see if they all have play as you can hear like that so the next step now after making sure that you have play very important is make sure that the engine rotate I have to rot I have to be able to rotate the engine without any tool so what I'm gonna do is to grab it from here and then push it see it rotates See? easily I mean not that easy right but you have to rotate without uh, the use of any tool because in this case we don't have the cylinder head and the crankshaft and everything and it has to be so easy to rotate so uh, you can try in different angles let's see if we rotate from here you see easy so and that completes the job of replacing the pistons and connecting rods it's a long process and very delicate process this is very important to double check multiple times if it's possible to prevent problems but wait this video is not complete yet there is something that i almost forgot to mention to this video but i'm going to do it because it's as important as making sure that this is completely tight the way it's supposed to be so in the cylinder kit there is this uh, nozzle over here, these are oil nozzles, it comes in each cylinder, I mean each piston kit. So this has to be installed before you finish the job, if you don't do it, something serious can happen because this helps to 
Lubricate, The Cylinder Walls, The Piston Ring, and The Piston Pin. Also, it helps to cool down the cylinders and the piston because the oil is the one that is in direct contact with the cylinders and the oil helps to keep the temperature in the interior of the engine. So each of these, there are six of these that gotta be installed, each of them go here, right there. So I have to insert it like that and tie the ball to around 22 pounds to 25 pounds and that's all you have to do so you have to repeat the process with all the other ones and make sure there is nothing in between that clean it very well but remember this is so important don't forget to install it if you forget and you start the engine the engine will run for a while with no problems but then it will start having issues so remember that And finally, all the nozzles are on place, as you can see. I installed them all, made sure to turn them to specification, which is 25 pounds, around that. And that will be all. Remember, very important to install them. See how close it gets to the piston pin, because that's extra lubrication for it, and for cylinder walls and other components that are all over the place. So, I made sure to double check that. Don't make mistakes because many people forget about that little nozzle over there and it's so important then if you don't put it on you're gonna mess the engine and by doing all that the job is completely finished so now we are ready to install the head back and finish the engine so by watching this video you already know how to replace the pistons, connecting rods and the connecting rods bearings on this specific engine which is a DD15. Also for DD16s and 13s it's going to be pretty similar. What it varies is the size of each individual piston or connecting rod. So this is all I'm going to be showing you right now. If you want to know other, uh, how to do other stuff like replacing the cylinder, replacing the crankshaft, um, replacing the crankshaft, um, replacing the rear cover and many other videos, check the corner over here right now. That is a overhaul playlist for a DD15, DD13s and DD16s engines. Is specifically how to repair the engine there are still some videos missing but I want to try to complete it day by day so one day it will be complete at this moment there are multiple videos but still how to remove the head and some other videos like that still pending but you have to be sure then that video will be soon uploaded by me so this is all you need to know of this specific job if you want to ask me any question you can use the comment section below you can ask me questions you can leave doubts comments suggestions and anything you want to add to um, make this video more interesting you can share opinions you can share comments you can share anything with all with everybody and also if I have the answers to all your questions and I have the time to answer them I will do it if you want to send support to my channel you can check the video description below where I have details how to send support to my channel so I'll continue making helpful videos like this one and many others that are coming soon so everybody learns more and more and becomes professional at this job so like, share, subscribe and thank you for watching.